And therefore, it is only right that the church today begins to prepare us for the commemoration of the events surrounding that first Holy Week nearly 2,000 years ago. And we need this time to prepare. We need it if we are to assist worthily at the commemoration of these events. Because, my beloved good people, I am afraid all too many of us Catholics go into Holy Week and into our churches during the solemn liturgies of Holy Week with our thoughts filled with outside considerations, filled with all sorts of, of uh, other things. And the reason for that is, or at least one of the reasons, I don't say it is the only one, but it is certainly one of them and a principal one, and that is that we have not prepared well enough before we set foot in the church, and therefore we will not be able to drink in, as it were, the splendor and the, and the tremendous lessons of the Holy Week liturgy. This business of sitting back on our laurels and enjoying the liturgy is fine. Dear people, we are not going to the opera. You go to the opera to enjoy uh, beauty. Yes, we can drink in and we can uh, revel, revel in, the, in the beauty of the liturgy, but we, are, we do not have <coughs> liturgy to entertain us. Make no mistake about it. Liturgy is given to us to educate us, to edify us, to help us to raise our minds and raise our souls and raise our hearts to Almighty God. Huh? And that means that, that we have to have some preparation before we go in to Holy Week, if we are to derive the fullest benefits from it. 